Hey guys, you get it here. Just reminding y'all to watch the video all the way through, and I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway in a few days or so. And I want you guys to make sure to like and subscribe because we are literally gaining so many subs at the moment, but we have so many views and it just doesn't balance out. So if you guys want to make sure to like and subscribe, that will help out a lot. If you guys want mechanics like this, stay tuned. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet another beautiful Jigeti video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your mechanics step by step on how you can do that and some tips and tricks on how you can do that. I don't know if you guys saw the clips before. That's what I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do today in today's video. But I just want to uh, cut in a little bit and I want to say thank you guys so much for 2.2k. We literally just hit 2k like four days ago, guys. That means we gained 200 subs in literally four days, which is absolutely amazing, guys. We're going at astronomical rate and I really, really do appreciate all the love and support. And shoot, we might even hit 10k by the end or even the middle of august maybe even the start if we uh blow up somehow but i really do appreciate you guys clicking on the videos and without further ado let's get into the first step all right guys so the first step i want you to do is just go right into your settings and i know i mentioned this a lot but if you're not comfortable with your settings please please change them i don't say that you just go copy uh face way settings or like chronic uh what day or any other one of them settings or just whatever streamer youtube would actually like to watch just don't copy their settings take your current settings right now just modify them a little bit and a little bit and a little bit so you guys find it perfect i know i do mention this a lot i'm sorry guys but a lot of people be like how do you find your perfect sense or should i just go copy your sense i'm like take your own sense and then modify it. i did make a video i'll leave the link down below in the description if you guys want to watch that but find your perfect sense uh so you guys can play on it and get used to it too uh, these are my sense if you want to copy them if you don't want to work on your sense or if you're just a beginner player but those are my sense if you guys want to copy it and then i want you guys to come over here to uh your game settings and i want you guys to turn on two things turbo building and confirm edit and release and i want you guys to come over here that's the third thing my bad and i want you guys to turn on build immediately builder pro this helps you guys build exactly it's sort of like zero input delay it's uh it's a setting that you guys can put on that will make your builds built instantly guys and you'll be able to build super fast edit super fast too uh, with confirm add on release so i want you guys to have these three settings on and then let's get into the second tip all right guys in the second tip i do want you to turn on performance mode guys if you do not have it on it's going to be laggier and glitchier they literally made performance mode so you can have a boost in fps and so you can have literally lower input delay and i do use this a lot i just started using it about i think two weeks ago if you guys saw it in my video when i made that warm-up routine that was the first time i turned it on and i'm telling you guys it has improved my gameplay so much and plus if you play it on a zero input delay map it's just going to improve everything about your building editing aiming shoot even aiming it'll build improve your aiming guys so if you guys want to have um consistent edits and consistent building i suggest that you put this on and it boosts my fps by literally 40 i used to play on what I think it was 200 frames now i can play like 240 but i do have a, a uh, 120 hertz monitor but if you guys do put this on it will help increase your building and editing so i do suggest that you guys put that on all right guys now when analyzing the first clips that i did show you the first three of me editing you guys can see that in there i did a lot of these edits right here these edits and i edit the wall these edits are very 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 useful when coming to uh improving your mechanics and just in general like in a 1v1 let's say your opponent is above you and you come right here they think that you're going to do a triple edit but no you come right here psych them and then they're right there waiting for you right there or in that other previous clip you guys could do the quick triple edit the one that i showed you but there's tons of different ways i'm going to show you guys how you can do this easily to improve uh to improve your mechanics and movement all right guys so what i want you guys to do is just place a ramp right here place a cone edit this and then you just place a wall just come right here and then come right here jump edit this right here and just edit this if you guys can't do it exactly the way i did it it will work this way too but you might not be as protected so you come right here place a cone you place a wall you edit this place a cone right here basically exact same thing without the floor or you don't even have to place the wall so you could just go right here come right here place this right here right here and then you guys could just do it like that if you guys are like beginner beginner but if you're like intermediate or pro level pro status you guys could do it the way i did it that's also one way that you guys can do it all right guys let's get on to the quadruple edit all right guys now if you're trying to learn how to do quadruple edits i suggest that you do start at the base of your floor or your uh or your cone 
and I do suggest that you edit it like this or if you can't start as far away from the cone as possible because if you go really close you might not be able to load the edit in it might edit like this it might edit like this it might edit some weird type of way so if you want the most accurate edit that you can get possible I suggest that you stay a little bit farther away because if you mess up let's say you mess up like this then you can reset and then go like this and do a triple edit without having to mess up because if you're closer get it like this if you're closer it's gonna take you time to reset and it's gonna slow you down if you're like right here and you mess up you guys you can keep moving as you uh, do it so that is also one way to improve on your quadruple edits but hey i'm gonna show you guys so you place the cone right here edit this and you place this edit this and then edit this basically like a double edit i do suggest that you guys do double edits before you try this do it like this because it will help you improve on your accuracy and then you'll be able to do quadruple edits so i do suggest that you guys do that because it is hard when you're first learning it but you'll get better at it over time when you practice all right guys for this part of the video i'm going to be showing you guys some of the maps that i use when i get on and i warm up and how i improve all my mechanics this map right here is called the raider 464 mechanical training and this is also a practice map too so where you guys can do peace control drills edit timing free builds uh peace control tunnels crosshair training and they even have matchmaking guys All right, guys, and the second map is Flea's Editing Dictionary. I'm telling you guys, this map right here, I used to play this literally like three seasons ago, and I actually made a video on it too. I was showing you guys how you guys can edit like not look, and I'm gonna tell you guys this map right here helped me gain so much muscle memory, and I'm telling you guys, you guys should play this map. It really does help out a lot, and it's just double edits, triple edits, quadruple edits. They have literally every single thing that you're trying to improve on inside this map, guys. All right, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys did learn something from this. Make sure to leave some comments down in the comment section below suggesting some new videos that you guys want. I'm wor currently working on a arena video. It should be out in the next week or so, but without further ado, have a great rest of your day.